there will be no supernatural. Um, and I know that sounds weird. There's no supernatural on our zombie show. Um, but even in this, here's the thing. Diane wins every battle about zombies that we have, every debate, because she cares. I don't know, it's such a funny phrase. She cares more about zombies. She is, without a doubt, the bigger zombie fan. And I like zombies. I, I Eight years ago, I developed a whole zombie apocalypse show. I had spent six weeks on it. I was about to take it in to every network to pitch it and headline in the trades. Frank Darabont sells uh, Walking Dead to AMC and it killed my project. So I tried to do zombies a long time ago, but even then, as in now, the only zombie battle I won was I, I like fake science zombies as opposed to supernatural zombies. It's just my preference. I, I'm like my favorite zombie movies, well, unless you count Zombieland, which I love, but are like 28 days later, 28 weeks later, that virus-induced rage. I, for whatever reason, I buy that more than I buy the supernatural curse of the mummies to me. Uh, type zombies, and that is just a strict, a strictly personal preference on that. And but, and Diane may have been saying this, but because other shows, in particular, um, True Blood was already doing a monster universe uh, to to have the Were Terrier and the Ghost and the, um, it felt like like it would push us into that territory and uh, we wanted to be the one show with a zombie you like in it. Like that, that was uh, the mission statement. We so enjoyed the comic when the look of the comic we adored and um, and it felt like a way to infuse the show with it. I mean, when it was pitched to me, when Warner, this wasn't uh, a property that I found and said I have to do this. This um, this was the head of development of Warner Brothers coming to me, and she didn't pitch it as you know, Rob, we need uh, the next great zombie show. She pitched it to me as we need the next kick-ass female lead. CW, we need the next Buffy, we need the next Veronica Mars, and then she sort of, you know, flips over the, the comic book and says, and this is our girl, and it has that great Michael Allred uh, front cover with her half zombie, half, and, and so much of what I immediately liked about it was that look, you know, was, um, was that, yeah, just that, and, and we, we went out we, we wanted it. We wanted her to look like this zombie in the comic book, and so doing the main titles, uh, we 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 changed so much about the show. We still we wanted to keep a hand, uh, in, in, in the comic book from. We changed so much from the comic book in the show that we wanted to still show, that, you know, that we were inspired by it and that we loved we loved the source material and it felt like a great way. And then I can't even tell you how pleased I was. A friend of mine sent me that, that our theme song comes from a, a defunct New Orleans band, and a friend had sent me that album years and years ago. And when I thought of that song with that art, I, it, 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 I was so excited. And it, it just, I, 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 I look forward to our main titles every time. Um, I, I'm so pleased with how those came out. We proposed to Google that maybe perhaps um, he might want to try some experimentation, maybe like cutting off a finger to see if it regenerates. And we then found out that Blaine might be on his table soon. So are you guys going to be playing around with that stuff? Um, let's see. Cutting up. Well, the, there's certainly, I mean, Ravi, it, it's going on bit by bit. I mean, we try to keep it alive. We may not touch it on it in every episode, but Ravi um, is continually experimenting with trying to find a cure. It's it's always playing in the in the background of scenes. I, it may not 
not be in every episode, but it's close. We're always and the funniest thing this year is we you know we've we've had fun with brown rats versus white rats and turning them you know white rats are zombie rats and turning them back and forth and Raul who plays Robbie we did not know this when we wrote it but is deathly afraid of rats and so I mean it is a phobia it would be like me handling tarantulas or something the best acting he did all year is when he's got rats in his hands so think about that as you're watching the, the these terrifying Rose Rose will have the rats running all over her body she doesn't care they're um, Raul is literally shaking. Uh, we, like we had to find, you know, takes where he was not, where you could not actually see him uh, being frightened. I don't know that I answered that question. We are we are continuing the experiment. We do not we ha- we do not do that specific ex- experiment that you say of locking off fingers. But um, but Ravi is continually trying to expand his knowledge base. And he's anytime he finds out there's a zombie, he wants the urine sample. He wants to do the full physical. He wants to know, are all zombies blonde-haired and fair-eyed? And, uh, so he he's, continues to go down that path. Okay.